Hello everyone, welcome again and today I'm going to show you another demo uh, for a Spring Boot project and it's using Spring Boot and Avanet. Uh, first talk about the technical details about the application, what technical uh, technology is using and what is the folder structure, MBC architecture, even things and the database that we are using. So it's using a Spring Boot to handle the backend. So managing the package architecture like controller, DAO, DTOs are there, forms are there, services, utility. To manage the front end, it's using JSP and the best fragments are there uh, under the resources and by YNF folder. And for the mapping purpose, it's using tiles to manage the dependencies. It's using Maven and application is deployed over the Tomcat server and uh, for the backend, it's using MySQL. So here is the database, and these are the tables available into the this specific project, which is taxi booking database. So to run the application, what we need to do, if you are taking this project from code one, you will get the project configuration in this condition, like the remote team will be there, and they will set up the project. And from now, you have to follow this demo. So this is your application file where you need to run. So right click on this file to run the application go to run as and run it as a java application when you run it as a java application the spring boot will start the tomcat server and it will run on a specific port number in this case it's running over the 9090 and this is your context path here taxi booking system so just copy your context path open the browser and enter here localhost 9090 and as a port number after that slash and your context box so it will give me a view and make sure before that you have set up everything so now let's check the feature and functionalities how the application is working here so this is your home page and under the home page we have option to home registration there are two types of user mainly there are three types of user admin is there driver is there and uh, customer is there as a user but the registration is available for driver and users admin is a static user and after that we have a login option so let's move into the database and check the credential for it so um, here you can see we have uh, three types of users here road id one will be always for the admin two will be for the users or customer and three will be for the driver uh, here under the user table you can check out this data now uh, for the registration purpose we have a re driver registration so if i am a driver and I want to register into the application i can do that i just fill up uh, dummy data over there so at the rate gmail.com and here i am passing the password as a demo at the rate one two three in the first name last name city mobile number we need to enter 10 digit number over there mail address and the license number let's suppose i enter in some random number registered registration is successfully for a driver so if i refresh my user table now it will give me a new record as a driver here with your id3 now if i register as a user i have to fill up some details so i'm gonna fill up some dummy data and make it mean make it meaningful and first name last name cd need to enter some 10 digit valid number address then it's registered successfully now if i refresh it again i will get another record with uh, an id2 it means it's a customer now let's log in one by one uh, with each user and check what the users can perform over there so here is the username and the password for the admin so i'm going to go to the login page going to copy the username as an email id and the password here so I just enter the password, hit the login button. So there are multiple options that admin can perform. Admin can check the list of users that is available on not driver, on the user. So we have a two users in the database that we recently added this. Now, if I want as an admin, I can delete these users. I just need to check it and click on the delete button. The record will be deleted. And after that, I can search the users by the first name. So if I need to search it, I just enter the first name. Click on the search button, it's working and if I reset it, it's coming again. I can search a user by a login ID also and it's working. In case I need to delete any record, so I can hit the digit checkbox, I can delete the record, the record is deleted successfully. 
another option we have a driver driver section so here we can check the list of drivers so that is available into the database in case any driver is going to register into the application it need to approval from the admin side so if you notice here recently we have added this driver and it so it's not approved yet okay so we can't log in with this driver i will give this demonstration so <clears throat> in, a, in, a, in a in a while so under the admin section under the driver list you can manage the drivers in in case if any driver is newly registered uh, and we need to approve it uh, to make it access of the application so it's it's currently not approved so this driver cannot log in into the application currently again we have a search option search by name search by login and delete and confirmation i can as a admin i can add a brand over there so let's suppose i'm gonna add a brand brand name the brand name will be displayed here i can perform the edit operation over the brand name here like this and i can perform the delete operation i suppose i want to delete it i can delete it i can add a new taxi under any brand section so suppose i need to register a taxi and i want to assign particular driver to that um, taxi so i'm gonna for a driver one i'm going to assign this taxi and the taxi will be the suppose session should be toyota or anything taxi name taxi number from i suppose it's going to be mumbai session load to mumbai distance 600 kilometer charge per kilometer i suppose 15 rupees per kilometer minimum charge 1000 rupees choose an image so i'm gonna use a dummy image over there so i'm gonna choose like this image click on save png record is set successfully now if i see the taxi detail here taxi list i can check the newly added record here i, I have an edit option here i can delete it as an admin after that i can check the history of booking history is here and the payment history as an admin uh, some common options are there my profile and the change password so my profile and we can check its detail under the change password and you can change the password uh, when i log out here and now we have recently registered as a driver and let's try to log in with this driver so this is the driver that we have recently registered so this is the log login id for the driver <coughs> and this is the password for the driver so if I'm going to try it, it says wait for admin's approval. So first we need to approve this driver and then I can log in as the as a driver. So how can I approve it? First let me log in and give you a real-time demonstration. How can we do that? I just logged in here. I can check the driver list and you can see here we have an option to confirm. So I just check this option to confirm. Now this driver can log in. So again I log out and going to check this driver and this is the password so it's logged in successfully now I can check assign taxi here and booking here but this driver doesn't have any assignment so um, I'm going to log out it and I'm going to log in with another driver that have some assigns, uh, assigned taxis so I'm going to use the driver two. So driver two and the password is this. Now if I check here, I can check the assigned taxi for this driver. I can check the view bookings. So driver can check the details and perform the operation accordingly. So this is a static part for the driver. So driver only can check the options to the assigned taxi and the view bookings detail. So my profile section change password is a common for driver as well now let's log in as a user and see what user can perform over there so we have this test user so i'm going to log in with this user as a test at the right test.com and the password is this so here as a user what i can do i can check the available taxi taxi so i can find a new taxi from here I can search taxi from from to to like let's suppose we have recently added a taxi in low to Mumbai so I'm going to search it in low to Mumbai 
and you click on the search data is filtered if I reset it it will come again so let's suppose I want to book it I click the book uh, button and then I need to enter the date let's suppose I want to book it for tomorrow I can pick a time here uh, suppose 4 p.m. Yeah, and this is the minimum charge and the cost and the total distance minimum charge all the details are there so the total price is 10,000 it's it calculate automatically and click on the book the booking is done now I can check my booking here now I can check the booking here and uh, you can check the details over there the bookings and the booking details is available here for the recently booking I can check the my bullet details available currently in the bullet here uh, for the user we have a bullet option so if I'm a user I want to add money into the wallet I can add it so currently you can see the bullet balance is 36,235 and let's suppose I'm going to enter some dummy payment information this is not a real-time payment gateways that's using dummy information so I'm going to enter some dummy data and enter the amount like for, let's suppose I'm going to enter the 5,000 50,000 is there <coughs> now under the my wallet section uh, I can check the prices increased okay now um, another option we have a my profile change password and all the details are there okay so why just hit the logout button and again come to the home page so that's all about the uh, demonstration of taxi booking application in the spring boot and in case you need the source code you can connect us over the mail over the whatsapp over the skype and don't worry about the configuration and the setup we have a remote team that's going to help you to run the application into your machine and it will work same as source in this demo so thank you for watching